What is up, you guys? Pete DiCarlo here with DiCarlo Capital, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of an update on NEO. NEO has still continued to fall, trading down at about $20.51. Last time I made a video on this, we were trading around $25, and I posted a video that I guess was a little fuddy i guess it was titled could neo really drop down to ten dollars and i got a ton of people hating on me for that and if you're long in this i can completely understand why you would because the last thing you wanted to do is drop down to ten dollars but we're gonna go over how this thing is trading right now we're gonna go over in my opinion how you should act and how you should think if you're a long-term investor because to be quite honest here if you're a long-term investor you should not worry at all i really don't think you should and we're going to talk about that in a little bit and then we're also going to go over if you're a trader and you're trying to catch the bottom here which i'm just going to state by saying that you're definitely never going to catch it at the perfect time it just doesn't happen consistently but where a good spot to be starting a position would be. Guys, I hope this video helps. Hit the like button, subscribe, check out our Discord. The link is in the description. You guys get access to free courses, live streams, seminars, webinars, as well as the best free unusual options bot out there. This is a bot and a service that costs us $200 a month so that you guys can get it completely for free. So that this way you guys don't have to pay out of pocket one to $200 a month to get something that's like a black box or something that's, you know, an unusual flow scanner or a dark pool scanner. We pay for it so you guys can have it completely for free as our way of not only building a community, but just saying thank you for all the support you guys have given us over the past year. The link to that discord and the bot and everything is down below. All right, taking a look at Neo. You can see here, really, if we go, we have this big resistance here at 45 and this big support here at 32 that we've been trading at for a very, very long time. Really, that's how long we've been sitting between this range. And finally, we broke through the support at $32 and then we took a drop down to 20 bucks. And you can see at this point, this is really where we've been trying to hold recently um, for the longest time. I'm actually going to zoom in because some people are saying that they needed zoomed in. So this should hopefully help. But as you guys can see at this point for Neo, um, we're down here at $20, which is a big support shelf right now. You can see there is not a lot of volume, but this was a heavy support. The big volume area is down at $15 and $15 is where that big thick band of volume comes in and i think that that will probably be the bottom we could bounce here and start to move up but i think that this would probably be the bottom if not you can see here on my daily chart if i zoom back in that you can see we do actually have a gap fill potentially down here to ten dollars within you know maybe we could end up filling this at some point i don't know but this is worst case scenario ten dollars that's what we were talking about you know in the last video that we did but i really think we will probably drop and hold at five dollars could bounce here but i think the five or i'm sorry fifteen dollars is where we're going to see it because we didn't make a divergence look like we might make a lower low so for me that's like the best place to buy is if is that probably at 15 bucks now if you're a long-term investor and i was like you know kind of said in the beginning of this video that i want to talk about long-term investing uh, thought processes and uh, psychology and if the market continues to skid i'm probably going to sound like a broken record guys and even if the market doesn't continue to skid i'm still gonna sound like a broken record because trading and investing are very very easy it's just the basics over and over and over again if you're a long-term investor you should not be worried about what the stock is doing right now if you bought in around 35 40 even 45 and you were planning to hold for five to ten years it doesn't matter what's happening at this very moment you guys know that but as somebody who's been doing this for eight years, I hope that me reiterating this each and every single day to you guys helps you out in making you understand that you're making the correct choice if you're investing long term. So please don't worry. I see a lot of people within our discord and just a lot of people on the internet who are very worried about what's happening with the market. And I want you to realize that if you are investing long term, none of this really matters. Now, if you're trying to scalp or catch a long term investment here or time a bottom if you're a trader, then there are some things that we need to look at. If you're somebody who is looking to enter NEO long-term and you just don't want to quote, catch a falling knife, one of the first things I want to say to you guys is that you're never going to time the correct entry, right? You might be like, well, I'm going to wait for 15 and then it bounces at 20 and it completely reverses within a week. Or you're like, okay, it's at 15. I'm going to wait for 10 and then it bounces. And so that's not how you want to enter a position if you're trying to get into something long-term. If I wanted to get into NEO long-term here and I did not have a position, Specifically, what I would do here is I would start with about 25% of the max position I want to build right now. So let's say I have $10,000 that I want to put into NEO long term. 
What I would do personally is buy $25,000 worth of Neo right here. I'm sorry, $2,500 worth of Neo here at $20. I would buy another 25% or $2,500 worth of Neo down at 15. And then I would save the final $5,000 to buy at Neo if it falls to $10. And then you'll have a beautiful average price of around like $15, $14, which to me, scaling into a position that's a falling knife long term, not short term here, but long term is probably going to be your best bet. Now, as far as unusual flows or anything, there is one flow that came through today. I might post it on the discord, but it was $103,000 worth of puts for March 11th, 2022 for a $22 put. So that the reason that that is so unusual is because that is 7,500% of the open interest that came through today, which is very unusual and really not a good sign. So we could see this move down to 15, but like I said, if you're trying to get in, if you're a trader, I'd wait for 15. Trying to start a long-term position and you want to start scaling in, I don't think now is a bad time. Guys, I hope this video helps. Hit the like button, subscribe, check out the Discord, the link is down below. If you guys want, you can upgrade once you're over there and go to the upgrade section for $20 a month. You get access to all of my trades so far in january we have closed twenty one thousand three hundred dollars worth of profits with the market acting as dumb as it's been acting too which is pretty cool guys go ahead and check it out as always thank you for all the support i'll see you next time peace